Hello everyone! So it has been a while and I honestly don't really have any great excuses. I will talk a little bit about the things that have been going on since my last video, so kind of some of the reasons, but there's still not great reasons as to why I haven't been uploading, so yeah. But if you have been watching any of my videos for a long period of time, or any period of time really, you probably know that this is kind of common for me. So while I do feel bad, I'm also kind of like, yeah, that, that's to be expected. So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Um, we'll see if I'm able to get any better with that. Let's get into makeup and then we'll kind of talk about what's been going on in my life and all that good stuff. Here it is. All that good stuff. So I do have my mirror right here, so that's where I'll be looking. And I did get my hair cut again. Um, just last week, week before. Looks a little weird because I haven't done any, any styling with it yet today, but yeah. I really like how it turned out. Um, cause it was like this length, so I got, I don't know how much that is few inches cut off. <laughs> um, I'm very bad with being able to calculate like numbers and well not calculate numbers that's putting things the wrong way but being able to estimate distances and stuff like off the top of my head I'm very bad at it. I'm great at be picking out the right Tupperware thing for leftovers but that's because I look, I can see my leftovers and I can be like, this is the perfect Tupperware and I'm usually right. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. So we're chatting, or I'm chatting because, yeah, and putting on my makeup and yeah. Um, also, the makeup that I do use will be listed in the description. I won't be mentioning everything as I go through. They'll just be listed down there if you're curious about anything that I use. Let's see, there was something else. Oh, no, I was just going to finish my story about estimating. Just as a, an example of how bad I am at like estimating and remembering sizes and things. I had a pot, a plant that I needed to get a new pot for because it was getting too big for the pot it was in. So I went to the store and I was like, okay, I just need one size bigger, maybe two sizes, but you know, just a little bit bigger. The pot I bought was like triple the size because I forgot how big the pot I had at home was. So I'll post a photo on the screen now of like the before pot and the after pot next to each other. It was embarrassing, but my plant is now in the bigger pot and it seems a lot happier, so I guess that's silver lining to the story. Even though I went through the, the garden store with this giant pot because I was so convinced this is the pot that I need. And then I come home and I look at them next to each other and it was just like, what have I done? But anyway. I need to get my sponge wet. I'll be right back. So yeah, as far as what's been going on in my life, there's not been too much going on. I live a pretty boring life. Even like when it's not COVID times, it's pretty boring. But the one big thing that did happen big-ish thing is that I got a new job. So as some of you might know, I think I mentioned it in one video like ages ago, um, probably when I first moved. Oh. Hello. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. 
Bye. So you might have heard that, but my dog is actually at the groomer right now and she just got finished. So I guess I'll go, let me put some setting powder on. I'll do my setting powder and my foundation and then I'll go pick her up and then we'll finish the video with the rest of my makeup and all that. But while I'm doing this, I'll hopefully finish my sentence about what I was saying earlier. So yeah, um, I mentioned it probably only when I first moved, but I work in medical billing and coding. The coding part's what I really enjoy, what I'm really passionate about. Not so much the billing side of things, I don't think. I'm sure there are people that are in, that, that do enjoy that, but that is what they're passionate about and stuff, but not me. That is like the field that I work in, and I, when I first moved from where my parents were to where I am now, um, I moved for a job in a podiatry office, and that was my first job in the field. And I've, um, so they were the first people to hire me after I got my certification and everything. It was a really good job. Um, but I did recently change jobs recently. It's been a few months already. Um, I got the job and I started end of March. And my AC just kicked on, so you might be able to hear that. Um, yeah, so I started end of March. So that's kind of like when I stopped posting videos. And that was just because I was honestly kind of overwhelmed <laughs> with it all the new stuff and learning and all of that. So, yeah. But I've now been there for, let's see, March, April, May, June, July. We're going on my fifth month now. It's been really great. I, I really enjoy it. Um, it's been super challenging, but not challenging in the bad way, but challenging in the good way. I've been learning a lot and I get to do things that I wasn't able to, not necessarily not able to do, but someone else did at the other office. So I am so happy. I feel like it was a really good move for me personally. Um, I'm not going to go too much into why exactly I decided to leave my other job. I don't know if I'll ever mention that online. <laughs> Maybe one day I will, but not quite yet. So but anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy to so happy to be where I am and to be doing what I'm doing and yeah. So with that being said, now that I have like a little bit of a base for my face, I'm going to spritz myself just a couple times with setting spray so that I don't sweat stuff off. And now we will go pick up my dog and I will be back in a bit makeup. I'm back. Oh, I forgot to pull my viewfinder out. I don't even know if I'm in focus. Hold on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Got my dog back from the groomer. She's all happy and clean. So, yes. Um, I just realized on the way to the groomer, I had this joke in regards to my haircut that I didn't tell earlier, so I'm going to tell it now. And I know this is probably only going to be funny to myself and possibly like people who are into K-pop. But if you're into K-pop, then you probably know about like how when they're pr planning on releasing new music, they often change their hair and it's like secret and stuff. And <laughs> so there's like comeback hair. 
so whenever like an idol dyes their hair or cuts their hair it's like oh is there like gonna be like new music a, a comeback soon and so when I got my hair cut I posted photos on my Facebook and stuff and my Instagram um, my Facebook you can't follow me on but if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll have that down below but I knew I was going to be making like an update video and stuff and so I was I kind of wanted to make I don't know it made me feel like I was giving myself comeback hair since I knew I was going to be coming back to YouTube even though I'm nowhere near as like on the same level as K-pop idol or anything like that but I don't know it amused me <laughs> um, yeah anyway but with that being said um, and I did get this haircut not this past weekend but the weekend before and I was going to film this video last week and I actually did have it filmed but then last week I well I had the majority of it filmed and I just had a few things left to finish for the end of the video and last week ended up not being so great like so I never ended up finishing that video I just deleted the footage and I figured I'd do it this week um so pretty much last week my dog was at the vet and um when I started well she wasn't at the vet yet when I started filming but she had her appointment scheduled and um she she's 14 so she's an older dog she's a cocker spaniel and usually cockers live around 14 15 years so and her brother from the same litter um, my parents had to put him down last year around this time of year so um, recently she was having like this really dry wheezy cough and the doctor or the vet I guess however you want to say it he said when we first moved he was like oh did you know your dog has a heart murmur and I said no because her previous vet never said anything about that and he's like yeah it could just be that um, she's really nervous and I'm not able to listen to her heart so I could be hearing things wrong we'll listen next time next time sure enough he confirmed she does have a heart murmur so then at that appointment where he confirmed it he's like you know just keep an eye out if it, she ever starts coughing a lot that could be a sign that things are getting worse and just bring her in if you notice that even if you think it's nothing and so she was beginning to cough more and then it was every just every once in a while and I didn't really think too much of it until one night she had a coughing fit that just it felt like it lasted forever and she just would not stop and so then like the, the following because that happened like Friday night or something so then that following week I made the appointment and that appointment was last week so she her heart murmur has gotten worse they grade them out of six and so it was stage two now it's a stage four and um her, so it's noticeably worse and the vet said that um her heart is enlarged but and that it is they did x-rays and that they could see that it's enlarged but um it's there's no like fluid in the lungs or anything but the lungs do show strain because of how enlarged the heart is kind of they didn't say this but this is how i picture i always i kind of imagine like they're almost bruised i don't know if that's right but that's how I kind of pictured it. Um, so yeah, her heart's enlarged because it's working overtime because of her heart murmur. 
and so she's now on medicine to hopefully help with that and she has a few other things going on that they're working on as well but nothing as like serious as the heart armor I think that's kind of the biggest thing but yeah so I started filming last week's video knowing I had that, that that appointment and I was like oh yeah I'm sure it's nothing as I was talking in that one and um then we had I just needed to make like the ending comments or something for the video where I'm like you know the mandatory YouTube nonsense of like this video subscribe all that stuff I still needed to do that but um we needed to go to her appointment. So we went to the appointment and then I got all that news and then I cried off half my makeup and I just was not in the mood to finish filming and I was really sad. So I just decided to delete all of that footage and start fresh today. Um, I have no, like, I know that my time with her like every day at this point is a gift but it doesn't make it easier so yeah the and I think the reason why I'm so okay talking about it now because I was the reason I deleted that video I filmed last week is because I was like I'm just not going to mention that my dog has been having anything going on, I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, my dog's good, but I didn't want to lie to you guys for one thing, because, you know, she's not doing great, but at the same time, I can already see that the medicines she's on, they're helping. She hasn't been coughing near as much, even just off and on, because after that first coughing fit, she ended up having like a few more. Um, because the first opening the vet had was a, on a day that I work and so I ended up scheduling it for my day off so that's why it was a little bit later than their first opening but I do see that the medicine she's on is help or that they're helping so yeah um, I think that's the main reason why I'm I'm good talking about it because I know that even it, even though it's like a stark reminder that she's older and you know time she has left is limited I'm just glad that she's not as uncomfortable as she was before and it seems like she's happier and she wants to play some more again and that's really just my main thing. I was devastated last week because I thought, you know, what if this doesn't help and what if she's just going to be miserable? But that's not the case. She seems to be doing responding to the medications well and she seems happier so that's all I could really ask for um, yeah because she's really the first pet that I've had that's been mine that and she's it's not an exaggeration to say that she's saved my life let's just put it that way um, but now moving on from all of that sappy stuff before I end up like thinking too much about it and getting like super emotional. Um. <laughs> yeah, okay, moving on. My, today is my birthday, did I mention that? Today's my birthday and I'm planning on meeting up with a friend for lunch. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in a in age. She almost six months because she's someone I knew at my old job. 
so I haven't seen her in so long and I'm so excited to see her again and catch up so I'm really happy so yeah um, let's see so new job everything going on with Pele let's see what else um, oh I got a part in a play. I'm so excited because uh, I don't even know if I mentioned this when I got the other a part in the other show. I was in the community theater. They did a show, a uh, uh, rendition. Rendition is that how you say it? I don't know exactly. I'm still learning all the theater lingo. But they did um, "It's a Wonderful Life," and I got to be in that show. And that was so much fun. I played Miss Andrews, who if you've seen the movie, Miss Andrews is the one where when there's the run on the bank, I think she's actually played by a man in the movie, but in the play it's scripted as a woman. But in, uh, I'm the person that's like, I don't care if you don't have my money, I want my money now. So and I want all of my money. I don't just want part of it, I want all of it. So there's, I'm that character. And then I was also Mr. Potter's secretary, so like the villain's secretary. And it was so much fun. I loved it. And so, yeah. Um, so they've had auditions for a few shows that they've done streaming and I auditioned for like one of them that they did streaming but then the rest I just ended up not auditioning for just it was I don't know COVID times are weird and I think everyone can agree on that so anyway <laughs> but I did audition for this most recent play and it's going to be a comedy and I got not quite a main character role but I do have a decent amount of lines and so it's kind of like right below main character in my mind. I don't know if I'm making my role bigger than it is but um, it's the government inspector it's an adaptation of Nikolai Gogol's play and it is a comedy and I'm so excited. We just had first read through of the script last night and it's, it's gonna be so much fun. There are a few people that I know already from when I was in the Christmas show a few years ago. Because the show I was in, I forgot to mention, the show I was in originally was in 2019, so right before everything. <laughs> and so, yeah, 2019. I just lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was talking about. Editing me is going to be watching this being like, what do you mean you forgot what you were talking about? You were just talking about it. But I genuinely forgot what I was talking about. I know I was talking about the play, but I don't know what I was saying about the play. Well, let's just leave it with I'm really excited to be in this show and... I'm... Oh! This has nothing to do with the actual show. But my mom is actually going to be able to make this one because she is planning on driving up for a bit and visiting with my aunt. My aunt's visiting from out of town. So she'll, my aunt from out of town is going to first be visiting my mom and then she and my mom are driving to visit me and my brother and my uncle. We all kind of live in a similar area. But they'll all be visiting, or they'll be visiting the three of us-ish. <laughs> and, but they were originally going to visit 
in end of September or middle of September but then they pushed it to early October because well my mom and my aunt that's when they were planning on, on visiting my aunt's visiting my mom for longer but they are now planning on visiting in October because they want to come to the play and I'm so excited because um, my parents weren't able to come to see the Christmas show it just didn't work out as far as scheduling and everything so I'm really just excited and I can't wait to show them like I don't know me acting Cause my mom she's seen me act in like some skits and things that we did in high school but nothing since then and she knows of course how dramatic I am so I think she'll really enjoy it I'm interested to see how she and my aunt react to the play though because some of the humor in the play is less than PG but I think they will really enjoy it regardless of that and most of it's innuendo so I think it'll be good and in case you're like super curious I don't know if anyone would be but in case you are curious about like the play I'm in and everything the director sent us a version of the play that he liked the most out of what's available on YouTube and there are still things that he didn't like about that the version that he sent but he's like this is the one I like the most and so that's kind of our baseline and so I'll post the link to that in the description just in case you're curious I'm gonna be playing the hospital administrator so I'm really excited like I've said numerous times now oh my word I need a wider vocabulary so yeah I think that's kind of everything that's been going on um, just lots of work changes and all of that but nothing really beyond that sorry I was seeing if the eyeshadow under, under my eyes was kind of even let's see yeah, that's pretty good so anyway my first time using this eyeliner so I hope it goes well I hope I don't hate it oh no I wanted to use sparkles hold that thought I'm not impressed with how this is working you know what let me try something I'll be right back There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I ended up taking the stopper out and just <laughs> using the product that way because not enough was getting on my little brush thingy. I feel like maybe my consistency of this stuff is not what it's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave the stopper out because that worked way better. Okay, now I get to do eyeliner.
one either. I think the eyeliner, or the darker eyeshadow on the bottom was a mistake. But it's too late now, so we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. Uneven eyeliner and all. Well, I think that's as good as we're gonna get today. Am I entirely happy with it? No. But, such is life. Oh, my hair's a mess. My hair's a mess! Okay. Well, that's a little bit better. <laughs> and on that note, I know the last, like, I don't even know how long it took me to finish my makeup. I didn't really say too much, because I kind of finished all my words. Didn't really have anything else to say. So yeah. With all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one, if you care to watch it. If you do enjoy my videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, either, both, you know. And... I think that's everything. Probably forgetting something, but I think that's everything. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful whatever time today it is, wherever you are. I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye!